the anti-abortion groups at the center of that Texas lawsuit that won a federal court ruling banning a leading abortion pill are now urging a federal appeals court to let the controversial decision stand. This is a growing number of Democratic governors are stockpiling abortion medications just in case the Supreme Court eventually decides in favor of a nationwide ban. Joining me now is the governor of Washington State, Jay Inslee, where abortion rights advocates did win a competing and conflicting court order upholding continued use of the pill in contrast to that Texas ruling. Governor Inslee, you have stockpiled the abortion medication known as Mephistristone. Mephistristone. Trouble. I have trouble announce, pronouncing that. Why did you decide to do it? Well, we decided uh, last week to obtain three or four years' supply of this product. We know it's safe. It's been in the market for two decades with tremendous results for women. And we wanted to make sure that we could provide that, even though the Trump appointed judges uh, could potentially make a decision about the FDA. And the effectiveness of that strategy is obvious. One, the court did make a horrific uh, decision in Texas. But even if that decision were eventually affirmed by the U.S. Supreme Court, we still will be able to distribute these products that now are on hand here in Washington State uh, to the women of the state of Washington. And so uh, this is an effective strategy. I'm glad others are joining me in this regard. And it's a bit of a, uh, you might think of it as an unusual situation, but our state can go ahead and, and distribute this even if the FDA authority was negated by the Trump courts. So this is going to work. It is working. I'm glad we took out that insurance policy. And it's just one of the many things we have to do to fight aggressively and creatively against this hydra-headed assault on this freedom of choice for American women. Now, the Department of Justice has submitted its reply to the plaintiff's court filing from last night, and they write, in part, that the district court, that's the court in Texas, purported to be acting in a restrained manner, but there is nothing modest about upending the decades-long status quo by blocking access nationwide to a safe and effective drug. Uh, DOJ lawyers are also writing, if allowed to take effect, the court's order will cause irreparable harm across the country. So, Governor, uh, your reaction to that, it's obviously in support of your position. But how long would the pills you have stockpiled last for the women of Washington if, worst case, from your perspective, there were a Supreme Court nationwide ban? At current rates, uh, uh, between three and four years, which is a good supply, uh, and so we've got a fairly good position for three or four years. But the court, but the, the, uh, the women of America should not have to depend on this slender threat. Uh, this is something we've now enjoyed for five decades, and this pharmaceutical for two decades very safely. And we, it is our hope that not even this Supreme Court could rip uh, apart this this uh, pharmaceutical solution that I think almost 60 percent of, uh, of the abortions in the United States are using this safe product. There is a hope that not even they would want to go that far. Now, we understand what's going on in this country. Uh, we have a, a political party that is unfortunately going to use every artifice, every bizarre argument, every draconian action to try to eliminate this across the United States. And here's the great hypocrisy of the Republican Party on this. For so many decades, they've said, oh, no, this shouldn't be a national decision. We should leave it to the local communities and the states to make this decision. And as soon as we in our states uh, manifest the clear intent to protect the women of our state, the first thing out of the block, they try to take away this right through this artificial mechanism. So. Hypocrisy should not win the day. Freedom should win the day. This is a freedom issue for women to have the freedom to make a decision of their choice. And uh, I'm glad in my state, at least for several years, we're going to protect women in our state. I mean, there would be several precedents made if the Texas ruling were to stand and be upheld uh, by the appeals court and then if it goes to the Supreme Court. Because in the Dobbs ruling, the Supreme Court seemed to be relying on states' rights, that it should be a decision left up to the states, as, well, uh, you know, so the Texas ruling not only does that and would make it nationwide, but it also overrules the Federal the, uh, Food and Drug Administration, the scientists, the doctors, who have been, I mean, it's a federal agency making decisions for all of us. 
Well, we've always believed we should make decisions based on science, not on ideology. The FDA made a scientific decision. The judge, the Trump appointed judge in Texas, made a political ideological decision. And that ideological decision should not be allowed to trump the clear science that this is as safe as, you know, almost uh, Tylenol and some of the very uh, normal uh, pharmaceuticals that we use on a, on a daily basis. And we've got to fight back. Now, I think the, the, the lesson from this last couple of weeks is that the people who want to uh, put women again into a second class status in this country are going to come at us and the women of America every single way they can. They've come up with this screwball argument that a safe drug isn't safe all of a sudden after two decades. In Idaho, in my adjoining state, they are trying to prevent women from crossing state lines and trying to violate their right even to travel in the United States. And I think this is what is demonstrated is that all of us are going to be called upon to be very creative and dynamic and, 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 and uh, forward thinking as our state was when we bought this product so that these Trump judges would not be allowed and they will not be allowed to take away uh, this product from Washington women because our state law allows this to be distributed. And that state law is going to allow us to continue to do so no matter what the judges do uh, on these Trump courts. We should point out that Massachusetts, New York, California, uh, I believe Maine is also joining, other states are doing or following your lead, and that medication abortion is the only abortion procedure available in many parts of the country following the, the Dobbs ruling. Thank you very much, Governor Jay Inslee. It's good, it's good to talk to you.